Today, I'm going to show you a complete beginner's guide of the Blink Mini Camera. I'm going to show you some of my favorite tips, tricks, and hidden features allowing you to leave this video as a Blink Mini Camera expert. Let's get started. On the front of the package here, you have a picture of the device itself. It works with Alexa, which will demo, and you've got some options right here that lets you know that it records day and night, two-way audio, and motion detection are enabled. And then on the side, you've got more features and detailed messages of how they work with motion detection, two-way audio, and day and night HD video, a simple setup, and Alexa working flawlessly with it. On the back, we've got a photo of what it looks like to use and view a camera using your smartphone. And really cool that it's designed for indoor usage and has cloud storage, local storage, and of course works with your Alexa device. You can see the top there and the bottom. So let's go ahead and open this up. It's got a little seal right here that we'll need to cut open and then we'll be able to open this up successfully. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut open the seal and I can lift it up just like this to see what's inside the box. And it's pretty simple and straightforward. At the very top here says, let's get started. It even has a QR code that you can use your smartphone camera to scan the QR code to get started. All you have to do is just download the app, plug in the camera, and then connect the camera inside the app and follow the instructions. So it's very simple. You can see inside here on the left, we have the camera itself. We'll go ahead and pull this out and I'll set that on the table right there. And then on the right, you have the power adapter and the cable. So we'll go ahead and dig in here and pull these out too. So in the bottom here, we've got both of these. We can see we also have some mounting screws and some more paperwork if we pull this out all the way. Um, let's see if it comes out. The paperwork seems to be stuck in the bottom there. So there it goes. We've got some very tiny legal paperwork here um, that's in the very bottom of the box. So there is no quick start guide outside of the text that's on the front here of the box. So you don't want to throw the box away immediately, but that's what comes inside the box. You cut the camera, the plug, the cable, and some paperwork. Let's go ahead and undo the cable here. It looks like it's done in a twist tie situation. So we can untie this and plug it up to our camera and that will give it power and that will allow it to be seen inside the application itself. Um, so if we look at the connector here, it looks like it uses a USB-A connection and uh, we can continue to untwist here and we will finally be able to undo the cable and plug it in successfully. So one more twist here and we'll be good to go. So um, we've successfully untwisted this. So we have what looks like a micro USB connection right here and a USB-A connection right here. You'll take your power brick and you'll plug the USB-A into the power brick. It goes in just like this and then you'll plug this end into the wall. The other in here, this micro USB connection will go inside the camera. So if you turn the camera around, you've got the QR code and then you've got the power connection that you'll plug in. All right, so let's try to plug this in successfully. We just slide it in and it has to go flush in in order for it to be successfully connected. We can pull it out just like that and look one more time. You'll need to make sure that this power connection goes all the way in. You see it's not all the way in right there. So you may have to reinsert it until it goes all the way in and it's flush with the actual camera itself right here. So if you turn the camera upside down, the power cable should not fall out. It should be connected all the way in and plugged in. You can see on the front there is this paper, this little plastic peel. You can peel it off. And it looks like it goes all around the camera here. It's even on the side. It says remove before using. So it's got a little pill stick right here. We'll just go ahead and peel it off easily. And it comes off just like that. And now our camera is ready to be plugged up. So one thing that you will need to do after you plug up your camera is grab your smartphone and download the Blink application. So you'll head over to your app store, whether that's the app store on your iPhone or the Play Store, and you'll search for Blink Camera. And um, once you find this, you will be able to hit the download app. So I've gone ahead and searched for it on my app store and it's right here, Blink Home Monitor. So you can tap on it and then you can press get and authorize with Face ID and it will download this application right to your phone and you'll be good to go. So blinking your home, easily control all your devices in one app. You can talk 
to people on the camera with a two-way talking, receive customizable motion alerts, stay connected from stay connected to your home anywhere and protect what matters most day and night because it has night vision too. So that's the Blink application. So go ahead and download the Blink application on your phone. You can scan the QR code on the box to get started, or you can go into the app store and manually search for it. And then we'll plug in our camera and start the connection process of setting this up successfully. We have successfully plugged in our camera. We've got two lights, a green light and a blinking blue light. It is ready to connect and you'll need to open up the Blink app on your mobile device. So we've searched in the app store, we downloaded the app to our phone, and then we can just open up the Blink app just like this, and it wants us to either create an account or sign in. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the create account button at the very bottom, and it asks where we're from. We'll go ahead, um, select the country that you're from, and then from there, you'll be able to hit next. Survey Junkie allows you to get paid by completing simple surveys. If you've ever wanted to make a little bit of extra money on the side, that's what Survey Junkie can help you do. They've got hundreds of surveys you can take for extra cash, and it's easy to sign up. Just go to appfind.org slash surveys to get access to the best surveys to earn cash in gift cards. Sign up today at appfind.org slash surveys. To get started, and make sure to confirm your email address to get access to the highest earning surveys in your inbox. Next up, it asks our region. We're on the West Coast in the United States, so we'll go ahead and select that, and then we'll press the OK button to move forward. Now it asks, what's our email address? It's already populated it in since I've typed it previously, so we'll go ahead and hit Next. And now it wants us to create a password. So you'll go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do this off camera and we'll be right back. So I've successfully created a password and now it wants us to verify using a code sent to our email address. So I'm gonna go ahead and check my email address and copy in that passcode. It's a six digit passcode. So you'll need to copy that in, select the email that it was sent to and then paste it in and you'll get access. Next up, you want to protect your account, so you'll need to add in your mobile phone number and get a text message or voice call in order to protect your account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. I'm going to type in my passcode or my phone number. It's going to send me a text message and then I'll be able to authenticate my account. Um, and just like this, I can hit verify. And of course, I'm doing this off camera to protect privacy. And then next up, it's asking, do you want to allow notifications? So Blink would like to send you notifications. You can hit allow. This is great for motion alerts. You can link your Blink in Amazon accounts. So Blink um, clearly is a service. You can see the smile on, on the very bottom here, the blue arrow, just like the orange arrow on the Amazon. You can link them together and have them seamlessly work together. You can activate uh, Blink subscription plans and it allows you to manage your plans on Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and link accounts here. That way they are together. So you'll have to log in through Amazon in order to link these accounts together. All right, success. I've successfully linked my account from Blink into to my Amazon account and now um, I can have these two sync together and manage any billing information on amazon.com. It says more features are coming soon to let Amazon and Blink work together. So really cool that you can link these together. So I'll go ahead and hit done and now it's offering the Blink Outdoor 4. Um, I can go ahead and learn more about this product or dismiss it. We already have a Blink camera, so we're going to go ahead and you'll see after I dismiss that alert there, I've got three tabs at the very bottom. I've got the Home tab, the Clips tab, and the Settings tab. We're going to start off on the Home tab, which is on the very far left, the one that we were previously on. It offers another Blink product for us to learn more information about. But all you have to do, if you want to learn more about it, you hit this blue button. But if you don't want to learn more about it, you just hit this Dismiss button right here and it goes away. And then it allows us to add a device that came up automatically. I'm going to go ahead and hit the Cancel button and show you how to add a device if this does not come up automatically. If it does not come up automatically, you add a device by pressing the plus button in the top right. This button right here it says Welcome to Blink. Tap on the plus button to add a device and you just press got it. So great notification to let us know what to do because this is just a blank empty screen. 
affordable smart home security cameras we have no idea what to do there's just this shop blue button right here shop blink it's blue so if you want to buy more blink cameras you can press this and it takes you over to amazon it looks like that system's not set up properly but we'll go ahead and hit this plus button and we'll be able to add in our first camera right here so we'll hit the plus button and then you can see here it has a list of different cameras here um, different modules we have the mini camera so we're going to go ahead and select that but you can see you've also got the sync module wireless cameras video doorbell wired floodlight camera outdoor floodlight camera mini pan tilt camera battery extension pack and floodlight mount so you've got a, a few devices here that you can purchase and add into your um, your Blink account. We're going to start off with the mini camera because that's what this one is. It's an always on wired camera and all you have to do is just tap it and then it says Blink would like to access the camera. Serial numbers can be entered using the camera. So we'll hit allow and it says capture the QR code, print it on the device and the quick start guide or enter the serial number manually. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Check out today's sponsor, Rakuten, where you can get a $30 bonus today when you sign up using the link in the description, appfind.org slash Rakuten. You can shop at your favorite stores with over 3,500 stores to check out and you install the plugin, create an account on Rakuten and earn cash back today. It's really cool that you can come here and get paid to shop, and of course you can earn your $30 bonus today using the link in the description. This helps out the AppFind channel a lot, so check out today's sponsor, Rakuten, using the link appfind.org slash Rakuten. On the very back of the device is a QR code, and that allows you to set up this camera. So you'll need to align the QR code in your phone's camera view just like this and it will automatically search for it and allow you to set up your camera successfully. So the QR code is on the very back of your device and it allows you to get set up on your, your app here. So it says choose a system for your mini camera. A system is a group of cameras that can be armed, disarmed, and scheduled together. So we don't have any previous systems, so we'll go ahead and create a brand new system and then we'll press this blue continue button at the very bottom here because the blue check mark right here is selected create a new system. So we'll hit continue and now we'll name the system. I'm going to name it office and just like that I can hit this blue continue button and it will allow us to continue. So we've got the blinking blue light right here. We can see it's blinking and then the steady green light on the left. So discover device, plug in your mini camera and wait for the lights to display. So the lights are currently displaying and they are ready to be discovered. So really cool that it shows a diagram right here, an image of the blinking blue light and the green steady light that lets us know that this device is ready to be connected. If the lights don't display blinking blue and steady green after 30 seconds, press and hold the reset button until the lights flash red and blue. This will take several seconds. So you can take a look here um, and Definitely you want to make sure the power is plugged in and that you're good to go in order to get this set up properly. And then um, if you need to, you'll have to press the reset button and you can make sure that your lights are blinking blue and green. So we'll go ahead and hit the discover device section since these um, you know, lights are blinking the correct colors. So I'll hit discover device. And now Blink wants to join the Wi-Fi network. We'll hit join. So it's going to talk to the device itself and connect to the camera and then set it up successfully. So it's currently processing information right now with the loading screen. And now it wants us to connect the Wi-Fi network to the camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera. I'm gonna select my Wi-Fi network and then I'm gonna type in my Wi-Fi password and then I'm gonna hit join and it's gonna send the wireless information, the login and password to the mini camera. So that way it can transmit data over the Wi-Fi connection and then send it back to your phone whenever you're watching. Um, that way it's good to go with transmitting data. So next up, it's updating firmware. So you do not want to unplug the camera while it's updating. You can see here, if I bring the camera in focus to the phone, updating firmware, do not unplug mini camera. And we can see that our light is blinking green. The blue light is no longer there. It's officially discovered and it's successfully updating its firmware. So this may take a few minutes and then we'll get a little check mark right here that says mini camera has been added to the office system and we can press done and move forward and check out what the camera looks like. So we'll go ahead and press that done button 
And now it offers a free trial plan. So you get a 30 day free trial and Activates covers all devices on the account and you won't be charged when the trial ends and can cancel any time. So any cameras being subscribed to the basic plan will continue to be billed. So we can learn more about this. We can press this learn more button or we can hit the next. You get longer live view with mini and wired floodlight camera. Experience up to 90 minutes of continuous live view per session so you can help protect what matters most in your home with greater ease. We'll hit the next button. You never miss a moment. You save and share your videos. And please note, applicable only to the new Blink Video Doorbell outdoor and indoor cameras. So we'll hit done. And it looks like it's already set us up successfully with the plus plan trial. We've got 30 days left and I did not have to type in a credit card. I won't be charged at the very end of this. I have all the features of the free trial. And if I want to continue it at the end, then I can subscribe through an Amazon you know, connected account. So we have successfully added a camera to our device here. And if I slide this camera to the right here or to the left, you can see that by default, there are no lights on it right now. Zero lights. Um, it is definitely interesting because, you know, earlier we had our green light and our blue light, but now there are no lights on it at all. And we can take a look at the app here and see, we can exit out of this free trial notification. We can see devices and it lets us know that there's one device and one video connection right here. We are disarmed. If we had other items, we can arm it up. Um, and th this is great if, you know, for motion detection, if you want to know when people walk in to a room or to your house. And you can see now the, the light is on, it's blue. Um, when we disarm it, is no longer blue. So we'll go ahead and see, we've got a motion alert. It sends it right there at the very top. We can tap on it and see what that looks like. So when we were disarmed, it started recording motion and it can see the back of my hand um, and my finger as I point to it. So really cool that we got a motion alert just like that set up right out of the gate. We didn't have to go into settings. Whenever we are armed, we get motion alerts and it lets us know when people arrive at your, your room or your door or where your camera is at. So I'm gonna go back to the home. It's gonna let us know what's new. It looks like there's some new extension packs. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the done button at the very top here. And now it's gonna offer us some tips of how to access the camera. So tap on the play button to access a live view for this camera. You can tap the more button to take a photo, enable motion detection, access camera settings and more. And then we can tap arm to activate motion detection. Tap on clips to view recorded videos and motion events. And then we'll go ahead and hit finish. So let's just go ahead and press this play button and see a live feed of us right now. So I can lift the camera up. You can see me and you can see the camera. And I um, am able to hear the audio of this. It's a two-way talk. So you can hear whoever's in the room. So whenever this camera is recording or in motion, um, it has a blue light just like that to let you know. So really cool option right there. Now I can press this save button and save this live view session to our phone. I can hold the talk. Let's test that out really quick. So I'm gonna press and hold, and now it's gonna enable microphone access. I'll hit allow. Testing the talk mode. And just like that, you can hear the audio come out of the top speaker right here. So I just hold, testing to talk, and it's coming out of the speaker. So really cool that it's coming right out of the speaker just like that. So I can hit more, see what other features there are. Extended live view is currently off, device settings, and then I can hit close. So really cool that you can dive right into a live view of this Blink camera. You can access this anywhere there's Wi-Fi or cellular connection. You just tap on the Blink app and you just tap the play button and it loads up successfully on the um, live view mode right here. So right now it's disarmed. If I want motion detection, I just hit the arm button and it will send me alerts for motion detection. I can move over to clips. We downloaded a clip during the live view. So this is right here at the very top. I can tap on that and watch that downloaded clip when I press the save button earlier. So all your live clips are just saved right here. I can press the share button. I can send it to other contacts. I can press the delete button. 
and I have the audio where I can mute it and play it. And I can, of course, skim across this live clip just like this. I can go to the live view and I can put it in full screen and watch it in portrait or in landscape mode just like this. So really cool options that we have right here inside of the Blink camera application. We can also see our cloud storage. We've got different um, options right here for filters. If we have multiple cameras, if it was motion, if it was detected during live view, a person or a doorbell or a photo capture. So multiple options that we have right there inside of this application. And then the last component that we have over here, we've taken a look at the home section where you can see all of your cameras. We've taken a look at the clips where you can see any clips that you save and settings. You can access account privacy, blank plans, device and system settings, notifications, what's new and help. The last thing I wanna show you is the Alexa app. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up the Alexa app because this camera syncs perfectly with Alexa. So if you go into Alexa, and it opens up the Alexa app. If you have an Alexa device at home, you'll be able to use this camera with it. You can go to cameras, and then um, you can see right now we've got a few Alexas that are in the house. Today's video is sponsored by Bot Builders. If you've seen AI and wondered how you can make money using AI, then this free Bot Builders webinar is something you should definitely sign up for. You'll learn how you can generate a passive income by building AI bots for businesses even if you have no tech experience. Sign up for the free AI Masterclass today using the link in the description or going to appfind.org slash botbuilders. It's a free AI Masterclass hosted by one of the top mini chat bot experts, Matt Leitz, where he will walk you through how you can earn an income by building AI bots for businesses and take advantage of the AI revolution. You can sign up for the free AI Masterclass at appfind.org slash botbuilders or using the link in the description. Next up, we're going to add a new device. We'll hit this plus button in the top right. We'll select device and then select camera. So we'll scroll down until we find camera. It's right here. And then we'll select camera. And then you can select what kind of camera it is. We'll go ahead and select blink because this is a blink camera. It'll say, is your camera powered on? Your camera needs to be powered on to connect to Alexa. We'll hit the yes button because it is powered on. Is your camera already set up in the Blink app? Your camera needs to be set up in the Blink app before it can connect to Alexa. So we just use the Blink app and now we'll say yes because it is successfully set up inside the, of the Blink app. So we'll hit the yes button. Can you control your camera using the Blink app? We can. So we'll, we'll go ahead and hit yes because we've been able to view it inside the, the Blink app. Connect your, Alexa, your Blink account to Alexa. So this Alexa discovers, this lets Alexa discover and control your Blink devices. So we'll hit next and we'll connect our Blink account. So we'll need to log in using our Blink email and password. I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera and this will allow Alexa to talk to Blink. So I'll go ahead and search for my password in Blink and then we'll hit allow and continue, and then I'm doing this off camera to protect privacy. It's sending me a text message verification code in order to verify that this is me, and then it begins to link the account. And now Blink Smart Home has been successfully linked. So now I can close this out, and now it's looking for devices to connect. It says this may take up a minute. Alexa is looking for devices to connect. So while this is processing, it's talking to the Blink servers, it's looking and it's found two devices and connected them. So your devices have been added to your Alexa account. Next, continue setting up each of these one at a time. So we'll hit next. And now it's found our system named the office and it's found the camera, the Blink camera, which is this long serial number right here. Um, so I'll go ahead and select which device to set up first. We'll go ahead and set up the camera and we'll say setup device. It's in a group name the office and then we'll add to group just like that. And now I can refer to this using the room name instead of remembering this long device name. So I can say office camera. So what can I do with my camera? I can say Alexa show me this long serial number. We'll see if we can rename that camera in our settings. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. We can say um, what device do you want to use for this introduction? Let's go ahead and hit the back button and do this later because we don't have these devices with us. So we'll hit later. And then to continue, 
um, just say help me get started with my camera. So we'll hit continue, it's set up successfully. And now we don't need to set up the office group because we don't have any other components in it. Um, so we'll go ahead and hit the X and then we'll go ahead and hit back. And now when we go to home and we type tap cameras, it shows us our camera right here in the settings, the blink camera. I can press it, I can turn on motion announcements to our Alexa um, announcement devices to our different devices Good in the morning, house. Justin. Thanks. Announcing. And then, of course, the, the Alexa decides to announce um, everything in the house that I just said because I used the wake word. So we can continue reviewing here. Um, we can see it's connected through Blink, what the description is. It's enabled. And, of course, you can, you can press the edit name right here at the top because you don't want to say Alexa, show me GNT1. Like, that's just too confusing and too long. So you just press edit name, and we can say, we can press edit name hit the X button and then type in office camera. And that's much, much better than saying that long serial number. So now I can say um, uh, anytime I find one of my Alexa devices with the screen on it, I can say show me the office camera and it will pop up and you'll be able to see it successfully. So really cool options here that we're able to connect this camera directly to Alexa right here in the settings. So we just tap on office camera and it shows that right here in our settings and a really cool option for us to be able to use it. So now that we have successfully connected our Blink camera over to our Alexa app, anytime we talk to Alexa, we can ask it to show us the camera. So remember, we named this the office camera. So all we have to do is just say, Alexa, show me the office camera. Okay. So it connects to Blink, it waits for it, and then it successfully shows us the office camera. I'm gonna turn down the volume so it doesn't echo and make a lot of noise because there's two microphones and two speakers. So now you can see if I lift the camera up, you'll be able to see on the Alexa, now you can see me, and I can bring this in a bit closer so you get a better visual of this. So you can see the camera, you can see everything in the office, you can see me as I speak right now in a really cool way um, you know, if I had um, Alexis in every room and I want to check in, say, in the kids' room or um, in the living room, I can just say, Alexa, show me the living room, and it will do that. So really cool that you can do this. All you have to do is just set up your camera just like we did in this video. Connect your Alexa account um, and your Blink account together in the Alexa app, and then you can go over to your Alexa and just say the wake word, and then um, just say, you know, show me the camera. So really cool feature that this is built directly with Alexa and works together. This has been a complete beginner's guide of the Blink camera. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and let us know what your favorite Blink feature is in the comments below. We'd love to know. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to figure out when we release our next technology video. We love producing these for you and can't wait to see you in the next one. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.